Okay, welcome to this video. Uh, we will be talking about mail merging, which is a very powerful feature in Microsoft Word uh, that enables the efficient creation of personalized documents such as letters, uh, emails, labels, or a very large number of recipients. When you're talking about this large number of uh, recipients, it may be uh, you are creating a voluminous document for people studying in a college, for people uh, in an organization. Possibly we are clearing the year and uh, you want to invite them for the end of year party and you want to do this uh, through the use of personalized documents such as letters or even invitation cards. Mail merging is a very powerful feature that will enable you to come up with these documents at a very, very uh, fast pace using a limited duration of time to create them. You may also be creating a thousand documents, but within just a simple um, uh, process, and within a short duration of time, you'll be able to create all of these documents uh, without a lot of effort. So for us to begin, when you're doing mail merging, there are three uh, main documents that you're going to come up with during that process. To begin with, you'll be expected to come up with the main document. And this main document, it will serve as the template for a master document that contains the uh, common text and format that will remain consistent, that will remain the same across all the personalized documents that you'll be sharing. So the main document is like a template that has the common information that you want to send to all the recipients. Secondly, you're supposed to come up with a data source, and a data source is an external file, and uh, often people use a uh, spreadsheet that is Excel, or a database application to create uh, this data source. Some of the time, you may be required to create the data source in a Microsoft Word document by simply inserting a table. That is the process uh, that you're going to use when creating a data source uh, for this exercise. Finally, you're supposed to come up with the merged document, which now integrates the data source into the main document. So for this case, I've already created uh, different documents in this folder. This is the folder that has the documents. So I opened the documents, then I go to mail margin. You'll find that I have the main document here, and I have the data source still in the same same folder. So the main document is this one. This is the document that I want to send to these uh, multiple recipients. So what I have to do in this main uh, document, I have to uh, first go to the mailing tab so as to start the mail merging uh, process. So upon clicking on mailing tab, you go to start mail merge and then select letters. Upon selecting letters, we now need to uh, select the recipients, the people who are going to be receiving this document that we uh, want to merge. So for us to select the recipients, already we've picked the document in a Word document. So you go to select recipients, then go to use an existing list where you're going to browse. And since it's on the desktop, you go to desktop uh, and then you go to you open the folder that has this um, you open the folder that has the videos, uh, that is the file, sorry. So once you open this one, so I open uh, data source. So opening data source uh, will make these other sections active. Initially they were inactive, but at this point they are now active. So uh, the next thing to do, I now have to insert the merge fields from uh, the data source into this document. Now looking at what I have at this point, I have page one of one. 
But after merging, this number of pages will change to the total number of recipients who are already in the dashboard. So I'm going to select this title, this uh, title. Then I go to insert merge field, and then I select title. You're supposed to apply some spacing for them not to congratulate first name. So I'm going to insert merge field, select first name. You also apply a space. To ensure that the names are separated, then select last name. I'll go to insert merge field, select last name. Already we've added three of these uh, fields into our document. We also have these other fields, that is the date, so you select date. And go back to insert merge field, then you select date, and then apply a space. After doing this, you're supposed to click on the preview results option that is in the preview results uh, group. So upon clicking on this, you notice that the names have been automatically fetched from the data source, which we already have, and they've been inserted into this template. So I can easily navigate by clicking on this to see how the other letters or even the certificate for these other people will appear. Upon reaching the last person, you will not be able to navigate further. So after you get to this point, you've been able to have a preview of how your certificates will look like. Uh, you're going to click on Finish and Merge, and then you select Edit Individual Documents. And then when the computer asks you whether you want to merge all of these to a new document, you just click OK. I want you to notice this. Uh, at this point, we have the main document still open. It's on the title bar that is the main document. But once I click on OK, it's going to automatically change. At the same uh, time, the number of pages down here will increase from 1 to the total number of recipients or even um, uh, the number of people who are in the data source. So let me click OK. Once I click OK, a new document will be created with the name Letters 1. And if you look at the number of pages here, the pages have increased uh, from one page to six pages. So it means that the documents have been created. And for me to check, I have to scroll uh, downwards. So upon scrolling down, all the documents have been combined into uh, one uh, document that is now the merge document. You are also required after doing this, though this document has not yet been saved in your computer, you need to go to File, then you go to Savers, and you select the folder where this document has been saved. And after selecting the folder, you're going to give it the appropriate name. Let's say, for my case, I call it uh, March Document. So when I call it March Document, it is going to be saved inside my folder. So you need to understand that during the mail merging process, you have to come up with three files. That is number one. You will be required to create the template. This template mostly we refer to it as the main document. You are also required to come up with a data source that is the list of your recipients. And finally, you are required uh, to merge the two, come up with a merged uh, document.